Uh, here's the Rebel Heart turned Blackheart. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. The first NXT Triple Crown Champion has held the NXT Championship, NXT North American Championship, and NXT Tag Team Gold. Now bestowing that success on the rest of the way. The bruiser weight. And his opponent from Birmingham, England, weighing in at 205 pounds. The bruiser weight. Pete Dunn. Almost a, a sick, twisted pleasure that Dunn derives from the opportunity just to, just to hear his opponent scream and wail in pain. It intangibles the skill set, the entitlement. Pete Dunn believes everything belongs to him, and he'll take it forcibly if he has to. The persistence, some might say, grating or obnoxious. Johnny Gargano out here tonight, personality aside, Gargano is without a doubt one of the toughest, most talented superstars in all of WWE. Cole, Gargano's an inspiration to all the members of the WWE Universe who have a goal or a dream that someone's told them they'll never achieve. In their case, that someone's right. But it's great to see Johnny thrive as someone who has and continues to make his dreams come true. Someone who refuses to back down or give up. Well, Gargano has certainly found a way to make those otherwise admirable traits manifest themselves as unflattering qualities every time he speaks. But then there's Pete Dunne, a competitor who comes to the ring tonight with a bad attitude and bad intentions for his opponent. Yeah, as mean as Pete Dunne looks right now, I promise, the bruiserweight will look twice as nasty once he starts going to work on the opposition. Just breaking down the opponent. Ah, oh, drop kick to the spine. Carefully great stomp to the arm. Done with a great counter. Double stomp. Ooh, stinging kick. Stomping down. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? A running Hurricane Rana. A tactic we've seen Pete then use to disable his opponents time and time again is brutal joint manipulation. Corey, if you have to lock up your gun, how do you limit the effectiveness of these attacks? But Dunn's goal is to get you in close so he can start tying your fingers into pretzels. You've got to hold him at striking distance and try to make this a stand-up fight. Then it's just a question of finding your moment to strike and making sure he can't grab you in a counterattack. Five! He's reminding his competition that they'll only ever be second best. Yeah. Whatever's playing here can't be good. Ooh, bad 
landed. Gargano keeps him at bay. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Right forearm. And the bridger weight, Pete Dunn. Oh! oh stop. And Gargano is falling behind. I love this ruthlessness from the bruiser weight. Oh, takes him up and down. Will this be enough? Side. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Two. We've arrived. It's about time for the bitter end. Wow. Stole one from his opponent's artillery. And back in the ring we go. Placing them into the corner. Oh, look out. Guillotine locked in deep. Ow! Capitalizes on Dunn's mistake. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From the top! Are you kidding me? Gargano recognizing a chance to end this. Johnny Gargano sweeps the leg, rolls through. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Could be tap out time. A normal man would have submitted by now, but not him. He let it go. Yeah, I wonder why. contested match. The bruiserweight Pete Dunne always has more than one plan, but in the end, none of them work tonight.